Hi guys, Marley Cutbush here from Flagship International. Summer's on our doorstep and we're fortunate enough to be on board this 2003 Dyna 77 Laguna. Let's have a look on board. So as you can see, it's, she's called the Gambler but it's certainly not a gamble to um, jump on board. It's a big volume boat, so bear with us while we do a walkthrough. So moving on the aft cockpit, you can see she's a big volume boat with really quality finishes. We've got the diner inlay across the table here. This is a huge space, really good for entertaining for, for lots of guests, or alternatively, just relaxing with your family. Moving through to the saloon, you'll really start to realise the volume of this boat. Port side, we've got a nice bar with a built-in Miele coffee machine, an ice maker, some fridge and plenty of storage, and these nice Corian bench tops. Moving through, you can see there's plenty of natural light throughout the boat, which is really, really cool. So whilst it's a 2003, it makes it feel sort of quite modern having this much light in here. But as you can see from the timber finish, it's got this really regal feel, um, almost a Gatsby vibe. On the starboard side, we've got your electrical controls, uh, your 24 volt systems and your 240 volt systems, firing up your generators or swapping over to shore power. So over on the starboard side of the saloon, we've got a pop-up TV and a built-in chest freezer. Again, you can see the quality of this finish and, and timber work is, is a testament to the quality of the build. Port side, nice big open lounge, heaps of storage, and just a really nice finish and, and vibe in here. Moving up a couple of steps, we've got a huge galley to the starboard side with a full size Fisher & Parkle fridge and freezer, Samsung microwave, double dishwasher, uh, oven, stove top, and heaps of storage. And again, plenty of natural light in here, which is great. On the port side, we've got a really nice settee. And all of this is under some windscreen, which is allowing natural light to be flooding downstairs. So up forward, we've got two identical twin rooms. Each cabin has its own ensuite and privacy doors. So there's plenty of space up here for guests. Coming forward midships, you come aft, and this could be mistaken as the master. Um, it's a definitely a generous cabin with king size bed, a nice little settee and, and desk area, a full bathroom with a spa bath, which is pretty impressive for a vessel of this size. So we're back in the, in the saloon, we're opposite the bar here, now we're gonna go down to the aft master. Again, there's heaps of space down here, so whilst they're, um, the forward one has the spa bath and, and could be claimed to be the, the master cabin, this is an equal proportion with a king size bed, a desk area, very, very similar fit out with its own ensuite again. So the whole vessel has four guest cabins all with ensuites. So just forward of the aft guest cabin, we've got access to the engine room. So she's got twin 1350 MTU engines two big generators, ab track stabilizers, bound stern thrusters, everything you could imagine to spend a long time on board and do some pretty heavy coastal cruising. So the flybridge can be accessed either off stairs off the aft cockpit or internally straight up to the upper helm. So we'll pop up there now. There's two wing stations on port and starboard. This is the main helm. So we've got operation to your thrusters, your trim tabs. It's got upgraded Garmin touch with uh, AIS, radar, depth charts. So whilst this is the helm station, it could also be called a sky lounge, because up here we've got a whole nother bar set up and plenty of seating. So up here we've got another dishwasher, a wine fridge, a husky fridge, as well as a sink and ample storage. So moving through after the helm area, we've got the tender storage. So we've got a big Opakmar uh, tender lift davit here, as well as a Boston Whaler center console with a 40 horsepower on the back. That's a 2012 model, so that has been updated with some custom chocks set up. So awesome little runabout for when you're uh, anchored up at your favorite anchorage. 
So the bow area is accessed from two doors either side, port and starboard off the, the helm area and sky lounge. And it's pretty impressive. So we've, the teak's all just been, been fixed up. Up on the bow here we have not only a second hot tub or jacuzzi, but a tee off point. So for belting golf balls when you're off at the favorite anchorage, under that is the jacuzzi. So that's the 77 Diner. She's pretty impressive. She's a huge volume boat. She's only got 1300 hours on the engines. She's just had a major engine service, a full external detail. She's looking really, really good and she's priced really well in this market. So give us a call and we can show you through.